I have prepared the most complete and detailed analysis for you guys to prepare for your SPM Biology. Hi guys, welcome back to Cisco Biology. It's been a year guys, long time no see ah. So for today's, in this video, I have prepared the most complete and detailed analysis for you guys to prepare for your SPM Biology. And we are going to sit for SPM Biology two weeks after you finish the SPM Chemistry exam which is really good, you have time to study. Well, I know you guys are really excited, but remember, do not watch this video until you finish your SPM chemistry, okay? Because you are having a lot of time to study for your biology after that. So make sure you subscribe my channel, save this video and watch it later. So let's get started to look at my analysis for 2025. So let me briefly explain what is this first. Now you can see the column A is going to be our chapters and we are having the subtopics here, SPM 2021, SPM 2022 and SPM 2023 for us to refer. As most of you already know, if the question came out from the SPM past year before, it will less likely to come out again for the next exam. It's very important for us to refer to SPM 2021 until 2023. And of course, we are having all the trial exams we have the SPB, like MISM, SPB, Selangor Set 1, Set 2, Kelantan, Kata, Negeri Sembilan, and so on and so on. Okay, so all the questions here are being jot down here. So it's like total, we are having five trial papers coming out the chapter 2.1. And we have total eight questions came out in the chapter 2.3. All right, are you guys clear now? So let's get started to look at the analysis for this year. Okay, so now we look at the chapter 2 first. Wow, chapter 2, you look at this. For chapter 2.2 and 2.4, there's no SPM question came out before. And if you look closely, we are having total 8 questions came out in your trial papers for your living processes in the multicellular organism. So what kind of question came out in the trial papers? Let's look at this. So we are having all these questions came out in the trial papers. We are going to look at the real questions here. So look at this. This is the question. Can you see that? Explain one example of the human cell that have abundance of P. So at first they ask you guys to label what is P, what is Q, what is R. Uh, and then they ask you why. Okay, this is going to be abundance. So for this kind of question, you need to know the function of each organelle. And then you need to know how they look like. Okay. Okay. So we are going to continue with the next one, you can see for chapter 4, we do have nucleic acid came out a lot of time. How many times? Came out 7 times and then none of the questions came out in your SPM before. And inside the MRSM, question 2 also came out this kind of questions. Name, what is J and K and I'm pretty sure you guys know this is going to be a nucleotide structure of the DNA. La. And then ask you guys to draw the DNA structure. Do you know how to draw the DNA structure? Remember, DNA structure is anti parallel, huh? means you need to draw it like facing in the opposite directions, all right? So, this is the question for the DNA nucleic acid questions. Okay, let's continue with the next one. You can see um, we have the enzyme for question uh, chapter 5. Chapter 5.3, we have nine questions came out in your trial papers, but not, not even once in your SPM, which is talking about the applications of enzyme in our daily life. So what kind of question is coming out? Things like immobilized enzyme, fruit juice, detergents, tenderizing of the meat, tenderizing of the meat, tenderizing of the meat, and so on and so on. So yeah, basically tenderizing of meat is quite important also. Make sure you guys, not only tenderizing of meat, make sure you guys know all the application of enzyme in the daily life. It's very important, especially those very popular questions like tenderizing of meat and also the immobilized enzyme, also quite important. Okay, now continue with the next one. Then you can see the respirations. Okay, respirations, aerobic respiration and fermentation never came up in your SPM before, but came out 9 and 13 times in your trial papers. Fermentation and aerobic respiration, I think this is going to be important. You see, they never came out this question before in 2021, 2022, 2023 also. No, 
none of them okay so this one is going to be important for chapter 7 okay so we continue to look at another topic which is the chapter 12 uh, involuntary actions and voluntary actions health issue related to the human's nervous system sorry it should be neurons and synapse and also voluntary and uh, involuntary actions none of them came out before but in child papers came out eight times and nine times so synapse are okay guys synapse are you guys really need to know the process of a synapse like how the nerve impulse is able to go through the gap between the neurons that is really important okay you can see synapse okay came out in the question nine before you guys need to write the essay synapse again and then we have the synapse again so you can see a lot of synapse came out in the essay question i think it can be important well so the next one is going to be the involuntary actions reflex guys this one reflex you see reflex 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 okay a lot of reflex here reflex 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 knee jerk reflex okay all these are the uh, question came out in the trial papers so make sure you guys know what is this and then continue with the next one um we have the chapter 15 chapter 15 is the reproduction oh my god this is going to be the nightmare uh menstrual cycle guys menstrual cycle talking about the hormones the functions of corpus luteum and then ask you guys to name function explain the hormone menopause and so on this is going to be tough um came out how many times eight times in your trial papers but never came out in your spm hopefully this will not comes out in your spm also hopefully we can add another columns here and then put the blue box okay when come to spm 2024 okay okay so this is going to be the analysis for form four we haven't end yet okay so we still have form five guys let's look at form five form five we did the same as well okay if you look closely you will you realize that chapter two none of the question came out in the spm question before none and we have 15 and eight times came out in the trial papers 15 guys 15 super alert um maybe this alert is for the paper three i'm not pretty sure but yep okay it came out 15 times and eight times this is really something that you guys need to take notes like the compensation point you know the graph okay they they are going to ask you guys okay if the question come out they're going to ask you um what happens okay when come to this point okay at what time photosynthesis rate is higher than the respiration rate okay they are going to ask you this kind of question make sure you guys really go through the graph of the compensation point mm. let's continue with the next one da, 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 da. now this one this question never came up before which is the practice in the environments and sustainability so 10 questions came out a lot and never came out in the spm what kind of question came out uh, in the trial papers let's see uh. 5r food security okay um food security 5r food security food security 5r food security ah yeah okay you know lah okay um you know what to do lah students 5r and food security you know so after your chemistry exam okay go and study the food security look at the schema japan how they give the answer based on the food security all right so 5r food security remember that and then we have the chapter 11 chapter 11 uh, die hybrid inheritance 10 times and then inheritance in the humans 14 times none of the question came out in your spm before basically the most important one is going to be the schematic diagram you need to know how to draw the schematic diagram and please remember the format guys the things that it can help you to get marks so for the schematic diagram how can you study this go to the trial papers try out the trial papers and then look at the schema japan like how the format looks like okay and then you need to follow exactly how the format looks like so for this is the die hybrid inheritance for the next one is going to be the inheritance in humans okay so for the inheritance in humans we have uh, a lot of hemophilias here and then we have the trisomy turner now guys turner syndromes are kleinfelder all these disease and all these 
mutations, right? You guys really need to go and understand and memorize the characteristic as well because you can you, you can see it came out 14 times in the trial papers and none of the question came out in your SPM before like restless, thalassemia, color blindness okay all these diseases you need to know all right guys so this is going to be the question that never came out in your SPM before but came out a lot in your trial papers so you need to go and put some effort into this but if you not yet mastered the chapter that we have mentioned just now, no need to worry so much because you still have time. Guys, you still have two weeks time. And I actually prepared something for you guys to prepare for your SPM biology based on the analysis. So let's say if you're not so familiar with the chapter, form 5, chapter 11, okay, dihybrid inheritance, no need to worry. I actually prepared the lesson in video for you guys to revise and recall the important topics that you guys need to know in SPM. So everything is actually inside the Google Classroom right here. So all the topics that come from the analysis are here. Okay, so we have, uh, let's say chapter 11. Okay, chapter 11, I have the videos here, okay, to cover the monohybrid inheritance oh, guys. as well as the dihybrid inheritance. So this is going to be the lesson, okay? So this is going to be the lesson. In the lesson, I'm going to teach you the formats, okay? To draw the schematic diagram and so on. Same goes to other topic that is included in the last minute biology 2025, okay? I also included the analysis right here. Okay, so PM me if you guys are interested. So lastly, I wish every one of you good luck and all the best in your SPM 2025 biology. I will see you guys again, hopefully next year. Bye-bye.